Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. We're so excited to have you again. We have about three days or four days to go to for the gubernatorial election in a do state to take place. And right now, all the political parties who have candidate for that election are crossing their T's and dotting their I's so that they can come out victorious at the end of the day. And APC is not left out. Don't forget that is a Yamo is uh, going for that position on the platform of uh, All Progressive Congress APC and the incumbent governor, Ada, uh, uh, Goswin Obasiki, is uh, the one representing PDP in the forthcoming election. And right now, just to see how um, APC can carry the day on the 19th of September, with the national leader of APC, Asiwaju Bola Tinibu, has decided to take a swipe at uh, the person of Godwin Obasiki, and he has released some very strong statement against him. And according to him, I'm going to quote exactly what he has said. Bolatinibu said, I, Asiwaju Bolatinibu, wants to appeal as a committed Democrat and a leader of all Democrats, regardless of political party, to our conscience and commitment to democracy today on the forthcoming election in Edo State. I want to appeal to you to reject Godwin Obasiki in this forthcoming election. I have suffered with many others to bring about this democracy regime, democratic regime that today we are enjoying in the country. Then Godwin Obasiki didn't participate in any aspect of the struggle to enshrine democracy in the country. Therefore, he could not understand the value and the pain that was associated with this democratic struggle. He was elected a governor by you people of a Edo state because he presented himself to you as a Democrat and he was sworn in after winning the election. No one prevented him from being sworn in. Thereafter, a member of the state assembly who got elected alongside him, precisely 24 of them, out of these 24, he prevented 14 of them from being sworn in. He demonstrated act of dictatorship, lack of respect for rule of law, lack of respect for you who voted voted for the legislatures that he has refused to swear, swear in. Today, he came back as a Democrat wanting you to vote for him. Please, I appeal to you, reject him. Those were the words of Asiwaju Bola Tinibu. And guess what? Um, a lot of reaction has followed that um, statement made by Bola Tinibu in TVC. And uh, guess what? It's really putting um, Godwin Obasiki at a vantage point. People have now made up their mind that what happened in Lagos State cannot happen. Don't forget that a national chairman of uh, or national leader of APC is one of the profound is the founding member of APC in the southwest and he has a lot of influence there and um, what is really really operational there is actually godfatherism one of the politicians who is an actor had affirmed that that he wherever he had whoever he had become in politics it is traceable to godfatherism but uh, edo people have said that a uh, lagos is not a do a do too is not lagos for that reason they cannot allow anything like godfatherism to strive in a do state and with this statement what has made i personally i feel is a huge blunder on his part, a political blunder, because if they have no uh, uh, with what he has said now, clearly shows he doesn't have an idea of what people have been saying on social media and what the reaction of people had been against, you know, um, Godfatherism. Whatever this guy has done, we all understand. But there's one thing that Nigerians do not want to allow to preside over politics in Nigeria, and that's Godfatherism. That was what Adam Shimule wanted to bring in, and the people said it cannot happen. You cannot bring in Godfatherism. We choose the person or the the people that we want to rule over 
us, you cannot sit back in your wherever you are and begin to appoint people who will be ruling the state because automatically the person will be a shadow of yourself. You will be behind the you know curtain remote controlling him to do exactly what's the content of your mind. That's not what we want. We want people who can come in and change the story of our country, uh, of country and also of a dosted. And guess what? There are a lot of reactions here which I want you to be a part of. And this one says, Tinibu, you are, your appeal is not accepted. Think of something else. Let the people pick their leader. Point of correction, you are so-called democratic enjoyment that does not go around. Keep the enjoyment to yourself and your followers. Is this is this a government for the people by the people as democracy is being defined? Second base, Jare. And this one saying, who is Tinubu to talk about democracy when all he does is select who occupies political offices in his Ikoyi bedroom, Legoshan? Okay, Ikoyi bedroom. Legoshan should be ashamed of themselves for allowing this man and his cohort determine their choices democratically. Obasiki refusal to be a puppet to the political kidnappers in a do state is the reason for the anger this one said here you say we are enjoying this regime jesus can you imagine don't you know we are aware that your government is the worst in the history of the nation all principalities and power of darkness must die by fire so that nigeria will be for god we are tired we reject your demon and power of darkness in jesus name amen and this one said this man no normal so you call yourself true democrat youth of nigeria this man should be relegated to his village people like this should not speak in the public any further another one here say i stand with godwin obasiki victory is sure by the grace of god come saturday edo people edo state is not Lagos state where a very vibrant and people-oriented governor in the person of governor akin wumi ambode was removed unjustly God bless Edo State and God win Obasiki. Come Saturday. Back up. And this one said, Who do you think you are to detect for Edo people? You guys are making it more clear that it's personal interest that made you all to gang up against Obasiki. Same way you frustrated a working governor, Ambode, the developer, replace him with your puppet and put the entire Lagos State in reverse gear. Back up. Now one here says, is only in Nigeria somebody like Tinibu will call himself a leader of Democrat. I pity Nigeria, my country. You think you can use your boy Oshimole to play that kind of dirty politics you played in Lagos? Edo is not Lagos. We will give all our votes for Obaseki. PDP power to the people. Four plus four for Obaseki. Mm. Another one here says Obaseki didn't carry the politicians along and it is very painful to them. We know your plight, sir, but it's good for us. The Edo masses moving forward. Obaseki is not Ambody and Edo is not Lagos, sir. Thank but no thanks we go we are good as governor obasiki is our choice you can imagine everybody supporting obasiki and this one say obasiki brought this upon himself why dragging lagos matter to edo state the same lagos governor obasiki stay for so many years i hope he's preparing to go to another state after he lose the election on saturday because we are not going to welcome him back to the state which he called godfather state that one is coming with a different opinion and this one say if after after this rejection online and on ground and the apc win in edo state i urge all good citizens of edo state to come out reject the result and protect the future of their great state great one there this one said tinibu has no moral ground to recommend to us who to vote for he is part of part of or the person that put nigeria in this backwardness we are currently going through with buhari and apc this one here say great people of edo state i believe you people are intelligent enough to know that to know that nobody should listen to bolatinibu first i agree with him that governor basiki properly was not around during the struggle but at least is Deputy Shaibo was very much in the struggle. Secondly, his demo democratic claim is nothing that short of Godfatherism. Thirdly, please, the party he claimed to be national leader, 
do they believe in rule of law this man is shameless ah the last one i want to read here say mr bolatinibu please my advice to you leave edo people to vote their mind i think edo are wise enough to choose their leader if ambode was wise enough he wouldn't have allowed you to hijack power from his hands stay clear let edo people choose their choice throughout the whole stuff you can see there that nobody is choosing him and uh, nobody too is listening to whatever he has to offer as an advice or an appeal to do people and this is really really shocking uh, let's see what will happen on saturday go to our conversation do you think that this appeal should be uh, given attention or do you think that people should go ahead with the voting in obasiki come saturday